What I would say in myeloma is there's uh, wonderful history and, and progress in the last five to ten years, uh, but the best is yet to come. There are two areas uh, that are very exciting. The first is next generation novel agents. Uh, they are more potent, more selective, and hopefully less toxic than agents we've ever had. Uh, we can now use science to combine novel agents. And uh, after all, combination therapy is the way that cancer has been cured, such as in the context of acute leukemia or Hodgkin's disease or even testicular cancer, for example. And in myeloma, we have now the scientific rationale to combine some of our novel agents. The second area of promise in our disease, as in other cancers, is using genomics or genetic studies to segment patients, to divide patients into subgroups. Certainly not all myeloma patients are the same. Myeloma is a very heterogeneous disease. But what this is often referred to is the uh, ability to deliver personalized medicine to use genomics to categorize patient subsets in order to give patients the right medicine, right patient subgroup at the right time. And we're doing this in myeloma not only at the time of diagnosis, but also at the time of relapse. Because when myeloma comes back, the genetic program has changed from what it was initially, in part at least allowing for the tumor to regrow and so we need to repeat and, again, use appropriate therapies for recurrent myeloma as we do up front. So novel combination agents, very exciting in myeloma. Second side is the delivery on the promise of personalized medicine. So those two trends, I think, are, are moving very, very quickly in our disease, as in other cancers, and I do think will transform therapy uh, in the next few years.